Some people be they hala say they want the power. Chai. Them be promise us say we go get light and power. Nah, nah. Them hustle so they so they they can't get the power. Hmm. But now they know they do anything with the power. Sheer. Every day dollar just they get the higher power. Over naira. See them talk say make we off mind. But then go say my ego don't come. So my people make you lie down. Oh, yo, yo. They do evil, no one may person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk. He do they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepe. But every day, then they take money in buck. Woman begin, they the street, they hawk. Still them talk, say, make we no talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you love. Oh, yeah, yeah. My egun don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My people make you shout. Oh, yeah, yeah. Day off in mind. You want to find the secret? You are mad. It's not possible. 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 It's not mad. There's a contempt of court proceedings here. Contempt of court. They don't obey court order. They don't obey court order. Your time is to get prior. You're the best man. Rubbish. Rubbish. I'm not going to testify. When you have been testified by Shelly in public, what's happened? Why didn't he get his offices? He appoints judges. Hello there. I Good evening to you, good morning to you, good afternoon to you from wherever you are watching from. And this is Mayegun Live. Thank you very much. Share the broadcast. Invite your friends, invite your not so friendly friends tonight and tell them that's my good today. Godfather is in. Thank you, thank you. Ani <laughs> esuraki. <laughs> Tonight, if you have uh, read the caption or the descri I mean, description of this uh, broadcast, you can, uh, you know, uh, make your own uh, contribution, as in you can comment, and then uh, at some point you probably have a chance of uh, calling in to contribute as well. So this is just like a follow-up, an update. 24 hours after the court in Nigeria discarded and thrown out all of the charges against Mazin Namdekanu. The Attorney General of Nigeria, Abubaka Malamu, has come out to say, well, the court only discharged Namdekanu, but did not acquit Namdekanu. 
a new definition in your legal dictionaries. All of you are like legal practitioners. But tonight, as usual, we will show all their conspiracies as much as uh, there would be pitfall, like we said yesterday. They are being given the rope to either save themselves or hang themselves. But they, I mean, they seem to have uh, chosen otherwise which is to continue to hold Unam Dikanu illegally against a judgment. And to make you understand better, by the way, when Nigeria kidnapped Unam Dikanu to Nigeria, they put together about 15 count charges, all gibberish, all nonsense, including one of them that said he's been abusing Bokuari as one of the charges. So top of it all was that uh, he's being charged for an act of uh, terrorism. Now, you need to bring your evidence, shouldn't you? So it's taking them more than uh, 18 months. No evidence, no nothing. In their own court, the legal team for uh, Nnam Dikanu, they were not asking for bail. Remember, one of the reasons why Malamu, Attorney J of Nigeria, who everyone is now asking, where did this guy, how did this guy become the number one law officer in Nigeria? Like, what the, you know, what's going on? In his uh, book, when Nigeria sent their soldiers to go and uh, assassinate Nam Kanu, and he managed to escape their bullets, hmm? they called that jumping bail. And in defense of that, his legal team said, somebody is on administrative bail. He is expected back to your courts. If you want him back in your custody, you have to go through the same court that allowed him to be free, Abby. So they couldn't wait. So they attempted to, therefore, the allegation of him jumping bail is absolute nonsense in the face of the law. And that was uh, what uh, the appeal court agreed. Now, remember, after kidnapping him, bringing him to Nigeria, they charged him for act of terrorism. So his lawyers were not asking for bail. They were asking for outright disposal or outright uh, dismissal of all the bogus trumped up uh, charges. Maybe you didn't read that in your papers, okay? But that's what happened, okay? So the appeal court agreed with the lawyers that, listen, in a very lawful society, right? If you say, ah, we are suspecting somebody is committing a crime. So you inform the police. And the police also want to investigate that person. You know what they will do? Apart from doing their I mean, clandestine uh, investigation, if they want to go to the art of it to get the evidence out, they will now approach the court and say, please, give us a warrant. We want to touch the properties of this person. We want to enter them. Do you get that? Legally. So whatever they take, they will document and say, we got this from here. We got this from here. This one is related to what we are looking for and the rest of that. A warrant. So something that uh, the likes of uh, Malamu, I believe, oh, doesn't really exist in their own book. So what happened is that in their lawless Nigeria, they believe that uh, according to, they said, Bokowari sanctioned the kidnapping of Namdekanu from anywhere, dead or alive, he wanted him. And that sanction, that, that authorized, I mean, authorization was what Malamu is acting on, not your law or any international law. So in their own court, the court now said, you cannot just go and kidnap somebody. You need to give us how you got him. So if you can't give us how you got him, right, then forget it. Anything that you want to present to prosecute him on is completely non and void. Eh? Because all you have done is ultra-fired. ultra fire. That is out of your jurisdiction. Rather than them to quickly see this as, a, as an avenue, to save their face, eh? They want to double down. 
But that's not the only thing we are going to talk about tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, brethren in the temple of truth, I don't know, maybe you have, big, you have noticed as well, oh, eh? we all agreed that uh, Bokwari is a tyrant. And he, I mean, he has also failed as, uh, you know, his government has failed. And for the abuse of uh, human rights under this criminal government, which everyone, even if you have not collected directly, everybody don't they collect here and there. Omo, breaking news. Nam Dikanu is going to be released. Uh -uh. Then I started seeing the hypocrisy of people. So people who are talking about we need to free ourselves. We need to break away from all this criminal system. This Nigeria, we need to take it back. All of them talking about, for one reason or another, why they are saying Boko Hari must go, uh, PDP must not show up, this system must say, uh, you know what I mean? So they are actually, they have preferences. The preferences are those they consider as somehow a eh, psychological threat to them. They can die in the hands of the same tyrant, dictators. Have you noticed that? I mean, why is, why is it that uh, we have categories of people who have reacted? Some reactions, some reactions are justifiable somehow because they are expected. Sure you get. But some reactions, eh? Quickly pull the lid off the hypocrisy of many, many of you watching me right now. And I'm going to take you to the cleaners on that. Okay? I thought that, uh, you know, Omo uh, Yele Shore was uh, going to be enough stop where your hypocrisy, your preference for your oppressors, and how much they have participated in what Nigeria has become today, in what has prompted you to begin to eh, activist, advocate or something, you know, whatever you are hungry about, of, I mean, about Nigeria today, whatever pushed you to that. Mm? So, Shore was like uh, nailed, like, no, 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 he's our enemy. But Peter Obi, oh, Peter Obi is a very decent and, uh, you know, he's, uh, he loves us. So we let that pass. I see many, many of you are comfortable that Nam Dikanu should die in prison or it should not be released until after 2023. Eh? We'll talk about you tonight. Nam Dikanu, IPOB, all they have been doing to them, right? Before NSASO, after NSASO. That many, many of us have documented, including what they have done to every part of Nigeria. In everyone who rose against this system in the last seven years. Your hypocrisy started showing up. So, so you were not the only ones who wanted to name the, I mean, sorry, uh, APC, or people deceiving people, people destroying people. So they are not the only ones who wanted people who are demanding for the renegotiation of that Nigeria. Yeah, to so what would then align with what everyone from every part of Nigeria actually agreed to? So it's not just PDP and APC that wanted Namdekanu to die in prison. Majority of you have been angling for that. And the last 24 hours, Jesu, Omo. We have seen enough. But don't worry. Your part is going to be the interesting part of it because the first impression was, let me tell you what they are pushing you. Why is it that every time there is going to be a major election, Bokuwari's government will release Namdekanu so that Namdekanu can come and declare it at home or no election. So because of that, whatever made Unam Dikanu to say no election, sit at home and every other thing, they don't really matter to these hypocrites. You are watching me right now. You are one of them. If you are getting, because I'm actually going to probably get you or make you mad. 
right? But we'll get to that part. People being kidnapped the same way SARS was kidnapping you, killing some of you, selling your organs. They are doing the same thing to the IPOB. But in your book, Buhari is a terrorist, Abi, or Buhari is a tyrant. But his tyranny, yeah, it's somehow, somehow, eh? It's not really that bad. Ah, I mean, the that name the canoe self, he owned too much. He talked too much. All these things he says and all of that. But the moment they kept him away, and there are no longer flags and rallies in Biafra land, the first people who actually gained peace of mind, let me tell you, before we became, they were the PDP boys. Oh, you know me, eh? If I am somebody who is like uh, collecting events, right, as, as, uh, as uh, piece by piece, right, I will be called a collector. That's why I called my platform the diary. The people who unleashed their hate, and they were in fact calling on Boko Hari to destroy Namdekanu and destroy IPOB. They were PDP boys. Many of them are now OB boys when pdp show them pepper but like i said we'll get to that part like are you for real how are you then different from uh, the lagos abobakus the oshogu alimajiris the ombud slaves the obedient fools the sophisticated morons of yoruba land the ass lickers the crumb eaters the crumb chasers the all risers who were jubilating because Bokwari exiled Oloye Sunday. But you really think you are different? You are not. It will remain on record that it is the failure of Nigeria and continued failure of Nigeria that gave birth to Unamdekanu. Now, you need to admit that. Just the same way, the police brutality, bad governance, and so many other things that you loathe so much in that Nigeria system turned you today to obedient. There's no difference. Some of you lost your brothers, you lost your loved ones to police brutality in Nigeria. And the only chance you had to ex I mean, you have to express that was the time a national protest was called. Remember, that's something that attached you to that. People have been losing their loved ones, losing their uh, you know life savings, invest, and then everything around them in Igbo land. But according to some of you, Unam Dikanu is too much. Therefore. He then volunteered to be, to be beaten up, to be tortured, for people he loved to be killed, right? And every, I mean, then to be jailed, locked up in their underground cells, in and out every now and then, just because he signed a contract with uh, Bokuari to help disrupt your election. It all started from 2018 when uh, Namdekanu, that they thought was dead, resurfaced. When Namdekanu resurfaced, PD, then there was no bill. I'm talking about 2018. No. The agenda quickly, just quickly popping up. Ah, they, they release him. They release him because they wanted him to come and declare, you know, the other stuff. And that's exactly what they are now pushing again. Because the only difference is that eh, for PDP, those who remain in PDP will be done spoil business already in Eastern Nigeria. Sure you get. So who will go help them spoil the business further? Unam Dekanu. Ah, God. Oh, yeah. When Unam Dekanu come out, no election. Sure you get. So to the PDP boys who were once afraid of Unam Dekanu, being free as a free man, eh? You can see today they are quiet. Mm hmm. What you consign them? As for the APC, egbe egbe. Oh, she be na Biafra land. Inokuku consign us. 
but for those who are the victims of the system. All of you, agendaists, on Twitter, on Facebook, everywhere with your agenda, can you at least show to us that uh, you are different from uh, the Atikulutas, you are different from uh, the Lagos Abobaku, show that you have empathy, a man that decided, right, to push and fight for what he strongly believes in. And millions of people also believe in them. You call them names. You call them names. Guess what? They locked him, they locked him up. And somehow, somehow, you have inherited the people he inspired to know their places in Nigeria of today. He inspired many of you. Many of you are even using his quotes. Using his quotes. And Kanu said, I mean, even though I disagree, even though I don't like that Namdekanu, I remember when Namdekanu said, but you were using his quotes against Boko Hari, against PDP, against Nigeria, whenever it's convenient for you. Meanwhile, you are scared, Dabi, of him being a free man because he can come and spoil business. Can you at least eh, pretend that you have empathy? Like, you know, like you are not like a D all these uh, Facebook ads men, social media bandits, give us a benefit of doubt that you are completely different. And your election or no election, that one on itself, all of you are dancing to the script they have written for you. And you think you have actually have it all figured out, Abby? Eh? We'll come back to you. Let us uh, go, uh, let's go to what uh, transpired the first time, Unam the Kanu that we know, and those who have uh, decided to use the, no, now, me, before I even get to that, there's something I'm going to agree with you, all of you on, especially those of you who kind of are telling yourselves, okay? That Nam de Kano is nothing. Is you know, you, there are some of you who tell yourself that too. You know that that uh, if not because of Ariana, you know, Nam de Kano is is nothing. There is a part I'm going to agree with you, and that part is that uh, because of uh, Bokuari's long-held hatred for the Igbo people. Any opportunity he could get, right, to unleash that venom would be a welcome development for him. If not, what is wrong if people are advocating in a democracy the same way you are campaigning for somebody to be your uh, counselor, to be your this or your that, for whatever reasons that convinced you? The same the same place in the democracy, you will see people also saying, no, 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 no. We don't want to, we don't want to be uh, part of Nigeria anymore. You know one thing, eh? We would rather be uh, part of uh, uh, an independent uh, country. And that ideology, right, goes along in a democratic setting. If they are more than you, they will force you to do referendum. That's how system works. But Bokwari couldn't take it. He is not Democrat. The Olori Brukus, the greedy, selfish criminals that brought him here, they know that he's, uh, he's a tyrant, an illiterate uh, megad, a blood-thirsty terrorist. They know. So rather than them to, to give, you know, to give, uh, uh, what do you call it, to, to, to give space for reasoning, right? He quickly went mad. He kidnapped the Namdekanu in Lagos. He appointed judges to help him send the Namdekanu to jail or kill him. And I won't forget this. In 2016, when they finally had the liver to bring Nam Dekanu out after one year, and they were saying, we are going to have to do secret trial, the Omama DK that we know, that I continue to see every time I get to see his picture or his face, this one, in his own court, he told them to their face. Oh.
When the time comes, shit. It's okay. It's stupid confusion. So when you still press somebody's secret, when you when you lie, you find secret. When you lie to some public, what stupid country is that? What stupid country is that? I ask you. When you lie, you try and you do this. When you lie, you try and pardon. I'm not kidding my people. Why are you kidding my people? They are killing out your reason. Now, my son, they are killing my people. Yeah, okay. After killing my people, you tell you how to tell me the secret. Yeah. The person is mad. Not mad, mad, Completely mad. 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 Tell me, that's what I said. That he is mad. He cannot tell me. He cannot tell me. He's a mad man. There's a contempt of court proceedings here. Contempt of court. They don't obey court order. They don't obey court order. You're telling me secret prayer. Is the person mad? Rubbish. Rubbish. Okay. In their own court, yeah, he said it. That's something that uh, so many of you cowards that call yourself an activist, human rights activist, cash activist, and so many of you who are using uh, the way for Ferobi, eh? to build yourself uh, some level of uh, followers that you can turn to cash some in the future as well, doing all of this. Because you know one thing is that a few days ago, they started digging themselves out. Some of those people who are now pushing the agenda that uh, Bokwari is using Namdekanu. Bokwari is the one sponsoring uh, high POB and is using them now to go and stop them from electing OB. Show empathy. Even if not a tiny one, even if you want to pretend, like I said, pretend that you get some little humanity, okay? Because we know you, no matter the level of a jersey you put on, we know some of you. And we know that in Nigeria, what you have in Nigeria is called mob mentality. Mob mentality. Which is, ah, everybody's, everybody says, everybody says, ah, well, this is what, how much do you want to go against every, well, at least once in a while, eh? Just same way, every criminal, I mean, sorry, every criminal, every rogue that has contributed to what Nigeria has become today, eh? once they are on your side, you will begin to defend them. Like uh, the same way Lagos Abu Bakus will defend the Tifnumbu, same way the articulated Mugus will defend the Tifku. Then you begin to defend criminals who we know face to face. He said, hey, but uh, they have decided to work for one Nigeria. And you lori daughter, lori big bear, lori daru. One by one, show empathy, little by little. Your hypocrisy stinks. It stinks. We are fighting for our life. But somebody else can die in jail for fighting for the lives of those. There are so many of you don't even care what is happening to them. I'm just saying, pretend that you actually care. The same way you have been pretending to be victims, even though many, many of you are enablers. 2015, you are part of those who bring uh, these criminals in. 2019, so many of you played your roles. Then 2022, you are now, uh, you know, on the champion of uh, Nigeria can never survive PDP. Pretend to, to at least be human once in a while because that hypocrisy stinks. So you are pushing it, you are pushing it. I don't think you guys really have, uh, you don't really have the strength. In my own opinion, no, you don't really have the strength of uh, facing the wave, the media wave of the IPOB. And I can tell you, that is one of your fear too. Because if, when Namdekanu is out there, it can be caged. It can be shot. I mean, his mouth can be shot. Guess what? The narrative will change completely to what it is now. So I'm trying to tell you that you probably will begin, you should begin to understand that uh, you are fighting the same enemy, right? And if you are setting up your useless agenda and all of that, it's going to backfire. And guess the part of those I'm going to be? The part of the truth. The people that genuinely knows that uh, you can't save Nigeria. When you finish lying to yourselves, okay, you come back to your senses. And guess what? Eh? If you are still united, as determined as you are, you realize that uh, you should never target uh, Namdekanu. You should never target uh, those who are advocating for self-rule uh, self or self-determination. Because at the end of the day, you are fighting the same rigged system. 
in my own opinion, but differently, but maybe with different expectation as well. He said it to their faces. He can't jail me. He's mad and he's right. I want And that is where I respect uh, Omar Yelisho very well. He understands this very well. That except for people who are setting up their own different agenda, who pretended that uh, they don't like what is going on. Meanwhile, they are actually positioning themselves to, you know, to take charge themselves and then uh, deal with you like you've never been dealt with before. Yes, everybody is waiting for their turn. And that is why anyone they suspect as a threat to that their agenda, eh? If you have to die, they can ask you to die in jail. They can ask them to kill you. It's going to be a good news for them. Whatever, you know, anything they consider, even if they themselves are not safe or would die in the process. Malamu went to Kenya to go and kidnap Namdekanu. And that's what happened. And that is why Namdekanu has no case in Nigeria. Until Malamu, we have to take him back to Kenya. And then in Kenya, they would have to prove to them why they are looking for Namdekanu. Now, they are not going to do that, according to Malamun. He was so happy when, he got, when, they, when, they, when they got to Namdekanu. Uh, sorry, when they took Namdekanu to Nigeria. When they got to Nigeria, he was so happy that he wanted to tell the news to the Mieti Allah and the rest of another Nigeria, right? That he forgot that he's the Attorney General of Nigeria. Sorry, oh, this is Attorney General of Nigeria announcing that... They have uh, kidnapped Nam Dikanu from Kenya. Yeah. Attorney General of Nigeria. <laughs> I mean, he has a lucky baby, the actual government of Doka Matakai, the Ainihan Tunzula and Uma, who win Sua Casas of Moncasa, the Hanya Umani, the Kapo Vina, who are the Lahenaya Alabare, the Sukahata, the television, radio, the Kumu Umani, the Anna, Gizo, a Kamwanan, the Mingan Chiwa, and the Antares of Nese, and Nigeria. The Mada Hukasani. Bias and the Joan and Baby Hai Elayo, Yato Kumata, Hai, Naemun, Hazuka and Uma, Musama, Bangari, Kudumasu, Gabaschin, Nigeria, Wanda Sanagia, Hata, Ansam Hasara, Rayuka, Bukioi, Rayuka and Uma, Parahula, Rayuka and Uma, Hata, the Mojoji, the Abu Wada Niki, the Ayuka, the Mosala Niki, the Nasaba, the Aikin Taki. I think 
na waɗannan jami'an tsaro da kuma duk wani abu da ke da nasaba da ainihin tabbatar da wanzuwar hukuma a wannan ƙasa ta Nigeria akan wannan muke sanar da yawa jawo mu sanar da ku a wannan yini cewa gwamnatin Nigeria tare da haɗin kan hukumomi na tsaro sun ci nasara ainihin samun kanu kuma a sanjiyar haka an ci nasara dawowa da shi gidan Nigeria a sanjiyar da garumin aiki da ma'aikatan tsaro na Nigeria suka gabatar na ganin da cewa an dawo da shi domin ya hustanci shari'a wadda ya kasance ya tsallake akan hustantar ta akan wannan gaba muke sanar da ku an dawo da shi Nigeria domin hustanta shari'a dan gane da waɗannan dukkan dukkan guda 11 da ake masa kuma a halin yanzu ya an guru an gabatar da shi a gaban kotu wadda ta yi umarni cewa a dauki ko wani irin mataki na dawo da shi domin ya hustanci shari'a kuma muna sanar da ku cewa an yi nasara kamo shi a ranar 27 ga wata wannan wata kuma a halin da ake ciki ana gabatar da shi a gaban kotu domin karin bayani game da shi kan cikan wanda aka fi sani da suna ina ne kayani yes that happened it's a long speech but there's no point in playing it for too long you know you probably didn't hear all he's saying if you are not uh, somebody who speaks uh, Ausa or I don't know maybe for food I don't know what he's speaking there or that is uh, the attorney general of Nigeria telling the whole world or specifically the Arewas that uh, don't worry we have captured him your problem the problem of your life the reason why the uh, Boko Haram are killing and kidnapping you the reasons why the bandits are ransacking your villages and kidnapping your women and children selling them off as uh, sex slaves we've captured him oh we've captured him it's like a trophy he was so happy now listen to the english version why and how they kidnapped the namdekano listen to this the Aousa part anyway, but I don't think we even need that anymore. So they got him down to Nigeria. So that message to everyone is that, uh, okay, you are now in the Fulani Republic of Nigeria. That narrative jail. But none of them could stand in uh, it could stand there uh, any test of time in the face of any real law i mean any tiny bit of law in a country that is uh hot and bleeding bleeding with uh, religious intolerance fanatism bigotry hatred vile political hate and all of, all of that stuff going on Attorney General of Nigeria decided it's like uh, you know in the olden days when they say, "Oh, we have captured the leader, the leader, or we have captured the king, oh, we have captured the so or so of these people." So yeah, bring him to me, lock him up, and all that. They are not interested in unity, in progress, or in any peace. Because where there is peace, all of you will likely agree with. Uh, the reasons why the Biafrans are calling for referendum. You know that. Unfortunately, when Namdekanu, when the news now broke yesterday that Namdekanu has committed no crime, it should go. According to uh, the judgment, they said Nigeria violated all the known international ethics code and laws and all that including local laws too 
something that is so embarrassing for a country like Nigeria. That was what the judge, I mean, the judges said. There were three judges, so three judges. There are like three judges on the panel. The three of them unanimously, they threw out Malamu's charges against uh, Namdekano. And if you check your screen, I think I have a copy of that. It's so tiny, all right? And then uh, I think uh, the, the print, the print is poor in a bit, but let's see if I can put that up for record, okay? Now, look at that. That is uh, the front page of uh, that uh, appeal court judgment and then uh, the signature, uh, you know, of uh, what have you. This is the highlight, the summary of uh, the uh, the court uh, judgment where he got discharged. So Malamu said, yes, the court discharged Namdi Kano, but the court didn't acquit him. So because the court didn't acquit him, listen, you know, according, according to him, he said, uh, let me read this part here. Yeah? He said that today's appeal court ruling was only about the illegality of Mr. Kanu's forced removal from Kenya and transfer to Nigeria. That's Malamu. But the judges specifically said no charges could be filed against Mr. Kanu. No charges. That's what the judges said. You can't charge him for anything. Right? Now, and he said, he said, no charges could be filed against Mr. Kanu on any other matter unless the question of how he was brought back to Nigeria had first been resolved. And from all evidence tendered before the court, it was a case of abduction sanctioned by President Mumumadu Bokuari. Now, for avoidance, that's uh, Malamu now in Koto. Uh, uh, Malamu is saying this is the only interpretation of uh, the court's judgment, the appeal court judgment. He said, for the avoidance of doubt and by the verdict of the court, Kanu was only discharged and not acquitted. That's Malamu. He said, uh, consequently, the appropriate legal action before the authorities, right? He said, uh, the, sorry, the appropriate legal actions before the authorities will be exploited and communicated accordingly to the public. The decision handed down by the Court of Appeal was on a single issue that borders on rendition. That's your Attorney General. Even me, we no be law. We, we are no study law. Eh? Your Attorney General is saying that the reason why the court said we no get any case against him is because the issue of how we how did we kidnap him from Kenya. So once we resolve that part, eh, the another judge will tell we will go ahead or we'll just bring another case. I mean, are you for real? But hang on. He said, the decision handed down by the Court of Appeal was, a, was on a single issue that borders on rendition. Let it be made clear to the general public that other issues that predate rendition on the basis of which Kanu jumped bail remain valid issues for judicial determination. I'm coming back to that. Too. That's Malamuno. So the federal government will consider all available options open, right, to us on the judgment on rendition. While push, I mean, while pursuing determination of pre-rendition issue. So according to Malamu, what he feels like they have to do now is that okay, fine. Everything that everything that happened that we are charging an Amdikanu for, because uh, that we you know that we filed against him in front of the court, the reasons why we kidnapped him, Abi, all of that stuff, they don't matter anymore. Because we kidnapped him. Okay, fine. Let's say, okay, that one no, no matter, okay? What about the one we were dragging before? That radio. You remember that the reason why they kidnapped him in 2015 was because Bokwari said Unam uh, Dekanu brought in broadcasting equipment to Nigeria for Radio Biafra. Remember? That was the reason why they arrested him in the first time, right? They kidnapped him then, right? And he got bail that they then decided to, to kill him. So what Malamu is saying now is that, hey, okay, fine. All these uh, terrorism charges, everything we fired against him. Eh? The reason why we kidnapped him from Kenya 
And now that we want to charge him for abusing Buhari, calling him a Jibri, calling him a Jibri from Sudan and all of that stuff, okay? Let's leave all of that. We okay, we fine, fine, fine. Now he jumped bail. Before he jumped bail, we arrested him for radio. Radio, radio transistor. Is that not a joke? I mean, like giant of Africa. So do you need any other reason why keeping in Amdikanu in, in their prison is not just is not only illegal. Sorry, it's not just illegal. It is uh, inhuman. So if you are obedient, eh, or maybe you are not obedient, but in your own way, you are pro-Nigeria. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't define you well. If you go out there and start pushing your narrative for fair, Bokuari released him so that uh, he can come and disturb your election. What happened after that? Your excuse me, after that your election? Do you think Biafra advocacy and agitation will stop? Do you actually really are you that dumb? Eh? The injustices that led to the you know the massive pool for Biafra uh, agitation, as well as uh, the Yoruba nation advocacy. That injustice or injustices are still there. In fact, they have now institutionalized them. This, they've institutionalized them. Now it's like normal for you to be treated like you are nothing. Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know who I am? You are you have been so battered, brutalized so much that you can see that whatever prompted you to demand for a better Nigeria today is still there and it's going to be there. Election won't take it away. That was the time you actually got them so scam I mean so scared. But today, you are so scared of your own shadow too. Eh? It doesn't really matter what uh, how, how you probably think you want to, you know, solve Nigeria Wahala. Eh? None of them, none of them deserves innocent people to remain locked up or even killed as long as it's not you there are thousands of innocent people that are currently locked up right now i mean at different i mean different uh, prisons across nigeria they were picked up on in that uh, eastern nigeria some of them were picked up from different parts of nigeria simply because they are egos and they are accused of being members of ipob you don't know that because you are not interested Abby. No, you don't. Namdikanu is so scary for those who locked him up. And it's even more scarier to those of you who are not locked up in prisons, oh, but you are locked up in the contraption called Nigeria. You are the victims of that system to the point that you have formed a movement, a movement that you believe you are establishing on a uh, what on humanity ah humanity i love all of us if you are not i mean i don't want pdp i don't want a pc i don't you know what i mean we are blo you know but they said they want to release namdekanu and i started pushing your agenda knowing that uh, if you meet core ipob member hmm, they are not interested in your election now now they mix everything up Okay, core IPOB members, they don't even have voters' card. So if they say they are not voting, what are you really going to miss? And if one of the things that some of you are saying when they locked, when I mean, I said Namdekanu is locked up illegally. Remember that too, he is locked up illegally, even though some of you have always wanted that for him. Because you disliked him. 
you dislike him so much. He said different things that has hurt your feelings, hurt your this or that. And the best you could wish for him, and someday he and the likes, is either they should be killed or they should be locked up. You know that inside of you. But now that they are shouting, Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is bad, let's take Nigeria back, let's take back Nigeria, all of you are beginning to act like uh, you are actually not the product or enablers of uh, this same past. Announcement, one single announcement. Unam Dikanu is free to go. All of you lost your pretense, your hypocrisy. You couldn't hide them anymore. Shebi Nauna, they talk, say, if Nigeria is working, people will not be demanding for Biafra the same way they are demanding. Shebi Nauna, they talk um, inside all of your different platforms. Consumption to production. Eh? So how do you intend to get those who have lost completely, who have lost complete interest in uh, anything in Nigeria, how do you intend to get them back on that you will now call IPOB a distraction? All this wily, APC, people destroying people. They have been supporting the killings, eh? the kidnapping, the jailing, and the brutalities against the egos simply because they are identified as uh, IPOB. Hello? We are fighting for justice. What kind of justice is that, if I may ask you? When you probably didn't have any intention to have a country that you can actually say, yeah, we all agreed to continue to be together under this arrangement, agreement, if any of that is violated, eh, then we can go our separate ways in this 21st century. Baba, that is where some people said that uh, 